want this for you. I don't want you to hurt, so I'll give you this home. Hey guys, what is up? I'm Darian from DariaWaken.com, and this is another week of Freedom Friday. So welcome. So this is a continuation. We're still talking about being an empath or a highly sensitive person. If you have not watched the prior two videos, you can go to DariaWaken.com and check those out now. Just go to Freedom Friday and you can check the archive and look up what is an empath, as we talked about the first week, then we talked about the 10 signs to knowing that you're an empath or a highly sensitive person. Now, I want to teach you some techniques. We've figured out that I'm an empath. Now, what do I do? So, I want to give you some te techniques. I'm going to walk you through a quick kind of like visualization technique that you guys can just go access this video anytime you need it until it's really, you've gotten it down pat and you could just access this visualization technique at any point that you need it. So first I want to talk about how I differentiate other people's energies from my own. What I discovered is that my own energy is actually really peaceful. It feels calm. It feels like like a peaceful, like calm waters. You know, if you can imagine what if you're an empath i'm sure you can imagine this but if you can imagine what it would feel like to be an ocean of water a deep body of water that is very peaceful and calm imagine what that's feeling actually i think i'm coming up with a technique right now because this is really a peaceful calming technique i'm feeling the energies of it just to feel as if i am a deep body of water and I'm peaceful. On the top is just peaceful and beautiful. And it feels, that feels really wonderful to me as I'm doing it. So you can try that. But that's really what my normal energy feels like. Other people's energies will feel heavier than my own energy, my own emotions. It will feel more intense than my own emotions which is kind of insane that I'm feeling other people more than I feel myself. But that's how I differentiate it. So when, it, when ish gets heavy and starts to feel a little crazy, I start to do this technique that I want to walk you through really quickly. Is I state the affirmation, I am only feeling my own energy. I am only feeling my own energy. While I state that, I tap and I do some EFT. I've talked about EFT in the past. If you don't know what it is, go look on diaryawaken.com. You can get a quick explanation of it or an in-depth explanation of it. Today, I'm just gonna show you the, really quickly the tapping points, and then we're going to state. So you can walk through this. If you start to feel some other people's heavy, heavy energy, start to tap, beginning of the eyebrow. I am only feeling my own energy. Side of the eye, I am only feeling my own energy. Underneath the eye, I am only feeling my own energy. I am only feeling my own energy. Chin, I am only feeling my own energy. Collarbone, I am only feeling my own energy. Underneath the arm, I am only feeling my own energy. And the crown of the head, I am only feeling my own energy. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and you can do that. I'm already feeling the effects of it. This is why I love EFT so much because I am an empath and EFT is an energy working kind of technique. So if you are an empath, look into EFT. David Childerly, he's my favorite EFT practitioner on YouTube, so look him up. He's awesome, and he's British, which I really love his accent. It makes me smile. So um, really, that's a great, quick, easy technique. You may look a little crazy, so you can do it somewhere that people can't see you. Go into a bathroom stall, go into your house, whatever. I don't really care. I'll be driving, doing it, and people look at me like I'm crazy, and I really don't care. Um, but... At first, if you're feeling a little uncomfortable doing some weird tapping, then just go to a private spot and do that. Or you could just stay to yourself. I am. If you can't go somewhere, just stay to yourself. I am only feeling my own energy. I am only feeling my own energy. I am only feeling my own energy. And that kind of gets rid of a lot of the other crap. 
Another technique is a grounding technique. Actually, before I do that, I want to tell you another thing that I actually taught my daughter to do because I think my daughter's an empath. I'm definitely positive that she's an empath. And um, so what I taught her is when people, when you catch someone, someone's energy, if somebody says something mean to you, this is what I tell her, if somebody says something mean to you or if you witness something negative that happens or you feel negative, peacefully take imagine yourself taking that energy and just with love giving it back to them and saying mm, no I don't want that you can have that back and just give it to them with love and not like you're throwing it back at them but you know just give it to them with love um, there's a quote by Buddha that says I'm probably gonna botch this quote but it basically states that when someone gives you a gift you don't have to receive it um, and that's kind of like the gift of negativity. People can give you their crap and you have the choice to, to take it on or not and to believe it or take it on as your own or not. So there's one more. Another technique, this is the grounding technique that is really, in my opinion, spectacular. And I'm going to tell you why it's so good for, I mean, grounding techniques is what all healers really use. Um, my one of my best friends is a Reiki healer and every time she heals someone she has to ground them first and have them ground themselves and um, it's really important what it does is bring your energy back into your physical body and that's where you're kind of it brings you into the now and you can really focus on healing yourself in that in that powerful position so the reason this is so great for empaths is because what happens is, and why we get into addictions and depression and anxiety and all this stuff, is that our body tends to be, if we don't know we're empaths or if we don't know how to take care of it, our body tends to be just riddled with other people's emotional turmoil and it's madness in our bodies. So we leave our body and we're like daydreaming and we're up in la-la land half the time because not physically in this in the now in this physical plane where we can really have the most power as a human being we're not there because it's just there's too much it's too overwhelming it's too much to handle so this is a great great grounding technique that you guys can use to really clear yourself of other people's energies get yourself back into your body and protect yourself from other people's energies. So this is great. This is something you want to do before you go into a public place, before you get into a conversation with somebody that you need to talk to, or before you see that energy vampire, or whatever. You can use this for anything. So here it goes. You can close your eyes if you like. You don't have to. Um, you know, sometimes people find it a little bit easier to visualize things when you close your eyes so you could do so right now now what I want you to do is imagine a bright white beam of light this is like God's golden beautiful healing purifying light protective light okay and if you don't resonate with God you can just do you know spirit source energy whatever you want to call that Imagine that beam of white light just beaming down into the top of your head through all of your chakras, if you know what they are, that kind of, your chakras align down your body. So imagine that white light beaming all the way down to the base of your spine. And as it's going down your body, what it's doing is just pushing out all of the energy that you feel at that time. Or if you don't feel anything, just it's pushing out anything it needs to be pushed out. Now, as you do so, and that energy goes down, and that white purifying light, imagine that your legs are tree trunks. And they, the roots of these tree trunks go all the way down into the core of the earth, attaching you to Mother Earth which is the most solid physical, this physical plane. So you are, the roots of your tree trunk legs are attaching to Mother Earth and really feel that. Now, imagine that white light moving back up through those tree trunks, back up from the root of your spine, all the way up your body, out the top of your head. And then this is what I like to do. Imagine it bubbling out 
so that you are in this big, white, beautiful bubble of God's protective light. And that light is going to protect you from any energies that are going to come in that are unwanted. Now, this is where you set your intention and you want to say, I am allowing only loving energy to come through this bubble of God's protective light. Or if you don't want to feel nothing, then you could say, I don't want to feel nothing. Or whatever you want to set the intention. Um, make sure that it's positive and, and I allow all and nothing other than loving, healing, well-intended, beautiful energy to come in here. Or I am separating myself from the energy of all others and I want to still be able to recognize people's energies, but I don't want to feel it as my own. And we set the intention with that bubble of white, beautiful, purifying, protecting light. And then we can go and set out, and we have to know once we do that, we have to do that, and so it is. Once we ask for it, we know that it is done, and we let it go. That's it's super important. That's believing in your, in your visualization, believing in your in, intention that you've set. And then you can go out and do it. Now, if you find yourself in a position where you start to peep up, pick up people's energies, you can just do this technique. It doesn't have to be before you're with somebody. This is something that you can just envision. You can have your eyes wide open while you're envisioning it, and people don't think you're crazy while you're doing it, you know? So that's a really wonderful one that I use very, very often. I hope that it helped you. Please come on to DiaryAwaken.com and join the inspiration conversation. Tell me if you know any techniques that have really helped for you or what you think about these techniques. And... If you like them, if they one helps more than another, um, what situation did you use these techniques in? And again, if you need to come back to this video to really get these techniques down pat, or if you want to go write them down and keep that little card with you until you know, or put it in your phone or something, until you really have this down pat, and you can tweak these. This was a, a tweaked technique that I've learned techniques from other people and just kind of made this my own. If you're an empath and you feel energy, trust that energy and know what's best for you. I wish you guys all the best, and I will see you next time on Freedom Friday. See you guys.